Conditions on Mars are very hostile. The atmosphere is far too thin to breathe. The temperatures are really cold, down to minus 70 degrees centigrade. And also the surface of Mars is bombarded with very dangerous levels of radiation. So all of those things you're going to have to be protected against. And you can see that the habitat is coated in a thick layer of bricks made from Martian soil. And that's to protect against some of those hazards on the Martian surface. You have to take a lot of things with you and so we'll be reusing a lot of the spacecraft components to go into the Mars habitat. This Martian show home is supposed to be set in the 2030s and that's when the National Geographic series is also set. There have been some proposals by private companies to try and get to Mars much, much quicker than that. Whether they'll succeed, um, I don't know. It'd be interesting to watch. We had set out into the unknown. Explorers of a new world. That was part of the first mission. Mission Control, we're looking at a red planet. A new hope for humanity. Um, so on Mars, most of your living environment is going to be inside, and then it needs to be psychologically attractive. It needs to be bright, it needs to be, it needs to look like fun, and it needs to feel like fun, or nobody's going to want to be there. Otherwise, this is kind of like a normal home. You'd have a very specialized kitchen in a home like this because almost all of your food would be coming from Earth and it would be freeze dried. As you see, we have kind of a little greenhouse up here. You would be growing things like uh, simple vegetables like mushrooms and, um, and lettuce. All of this understanding about how to make people live happier in smaller spaces um, on Mars is going to make life much better on Earth. We're going to bring all these secrets and all these ideas that we develop for doing this back to Earth. They're going to be great jobs on Mars. People are going to make more money on Mars than they make on Earth. There's going to be a lot of opportunities on Mars. We're going to build cities on Mars. I know that sounds far-fetched, but it's actually not. It's going to happen very quickly.